this is Kevin Darling reporting for day four. Um, today was hard in the morning. I was very exhausted. I, to be fair, I got up at 4.30, made myself breakfast, salmon, eggs, delish, very delicious, very nutritious, and I went to work out, worked out for 45 minutes and came home and I was so exhausted I passed out for 30 minutes and then got up and got ready for work. When I got to work, I was very exhausted and tired. So I mean, today, J4, that's what is to be expected. So that's normal. My husband is still on the diet with me in case you're wondering. Um, he's exhausted and he helped me make chili today. So that was exciting. I'm still optimistic that things will get better and that things won't stay this sluggish. I don't like feeling tired. It's not that I'm missing the bad food. It's just that the bad food is easier. The bad food is everywhere. They don't make it easy for you to think about like, oh, we should have fast food for healthy people. I know San Francisco has a couple places, but I work in Dublin, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Hopefully enough people will make a change that this will be the new demand to have healthy nutritional food being easy and accessible without any sugar or preservatives. So that'd be a great goal. That'd make this so much easier if the food that I know is picking from the store, I didn't have to read the back of the label because it was already healthy for me. So that I think would be a great change period for the world. If you look at one of those lean cuisines or, you know, one of those skinny meals, whatever you want to call them, they have a bunch of preservatives, a bunch of sugars, and it's just cardboard, you know, it's junk. But I get why people get that. It's easy. They don't have to think about it. They don't have to cook it. If you have to cook it and clean up the mess, it's a pain in the butt. I realize, looking back now, my husband and I ate out a lot because we didn't want to clean the mess. It's a mess. I don't want to clean it up. Anywho, I'm thinking I need to reorganize my kitchen and maybe that'll help if I get my kitchen in order. I know the book said to go through the cupboards and make sure you don't have anything you can't eat. That's not the hard part. That was easy. I, I love purging. I love throwing things away, especially if I haven't used it. Um, I think it was Gilmore Girls I saw. She read some book, Mrs. Gilmore, the grandmother, and she was all like, this doesn't bring me joy. So it was easy for me to say, this doesn't bring me joy. This brings me heartache. So it was great. Anyways, to basically end the day, it was hard. It is hard. Again, still optimistic. I know things will get better. And I had a really good, something really positive that did happen today. Like, because two of my other coworkers are going through this. They saw how much I was um, hurting today, I guess you would say. I wasn't having an easy time. I, you know, I started getting those headaches that the book talked about too. Um, they were very supportive, very encouraging. So I'm very thankful that I do have a support team at work um, and at home. So... Thank you. Love you both. Love everyone at work. And love you, Jesse. Hopefully, once Jesse starts feeling better, he'll want to do these videos again with me. Um, because right now, I, I understand he doesn't feel well. And it's hard enough not having the foods you like and then feeling sick on top of it. And he has his own uh, videos that he shoots for YouTube. He does Minecraft videos because uh, he loves it. So... I know he already has a lot on his plate, but we'll see. Stay positive and bye.